Um, there's a very important thing that we have to know about hydrogen bonds, though, that they are much weaker than covalent bonds. They are much, much weaker than covalent bonds because they are much longer. So, a hydrogen bond has a length of 3 angstroms and needs 21 kilojoules to be broken. On the other hand, a covalent bond uh, has a length of about 1 angstrom and needs about 418 kilojoules to be broken. So we can notice the difference here. It's much weaker than the covalent bond. Finally, we have to know that hydrogen bonds can form shapes of molecules of the substance. For example, like in hydrogen fluoride, if we have hydrogen fluoride molecules like that, that fluorine is the most electronegative atom, so of course it will form hydrogen bonds. It can form chain shapes like that, or it can form a ring shape. So if we have molecules arranged like that, it can form a ring shape. and so on. <laughs> the last thing that we need to know is that there are two types of hydrogen bonds. We said that hydrogen bonds mainly form between molecules, but sometimes they are formed inside a molecule. And that's in case of, um, if we have a ring compound, like cyclohexane, for example, and uh, there is an OH here. Okay, and there is another OH. Here, the O, of course, has a partial negative charge, and the oxygen has a partial positive charge. A hydrogen bond is formed. A hydrogen bond is formed. Okay? Uh, and uh, this, of course, affects the boiling point and the melting points of the compound. Because if the substitution is in, in these places, okay, here a hydrogen bond is formed. So hydrogen bonds between another molecule and this molecule cannot be formed. They cannot be formed. Instead, it's easier for the compound, it will form a hydrogen bond inside the molecule. This is called an intra intramolecular hydrogen bond. An intramolecular hydrogen bond. But instead, if the substitution is in this place, It will be far and hard to form a hydrogen bond. So instead it will form a hydrogen bond with the other molecule. It will form a hydrogen bond with the other molecule. If we flip the molecule like that, so it will have uh, this shape. Here a hydrogen bond can be easily formed. A hydrogen bond can be easily formed between the two molecules and the boiling point and the melting point increases. So, and, and this is a very short note about this uh, kind of intramolecular and intermolecular hydrogen bonds. This one is called an intermolecular, the other one was intramolecular hydrogen bond. We will talk about that in organic chemistry later. And so this is it for today. The next time we will talk about the metallic bond. And until then, I thank you for watching and see you.